is a great honor to officiate to this strategic planning retreat, given the prevailing circumstances that require us to exercise shriftness and the prioritization of the competing demands. A number of developments have taken place. More specifically, we need to acknowledge the fact that the drive to social economic transformation of our country comes with competing priorities in various sectors. The interlinkage between human security, which is largely dependent on social economic sectors such as provision of health services, education, employment, food security, and so on, on one hand, and the military or national security, which is reliant on efficient and professional forces with multiple, with multiple domain capabilities, requires us to seriously balance our priorities. Uganda has to contend with the regional security complexes, such as the conflicts in DRC, South Sudan, Sudan, Somalia that have strategic bearing on our national security. Equally, while acknowledging that the pace of scientific and technological changes and complexities in the international security environment are fast evolving, making long-term planning a complex process, of course, this retreat provides us a good forum to forecast a combined impact of security and certainties, challenges, and the requirements of the future, and how best we can plan with the limited resources available to us to address the most crucial issues. I wish to caution all stakeholders to limit wastage and always ensure that there is value for all the resources spent. <coughs> Finally, Honorable Ministers, dear generals, I wish to note that His Excellency the President remains fully committed to the process of modernizing and professionalizing the EPDF as a foundation for uh, long-term peace and stability.